What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly deploy your Next.js application to Vercel. So as you can see, this is the website I'll be deploying today. It is a simple website with a home page and a blog page. And of course, you can go to each individual post like this. We have some code syntax highlighting and a nice light and dark theme. Now, if you followed along with my Chakra Next.js tutorial series, you'll have this same website. But if you don't and you want to deploy your own website, that is totally fine too. If you want to get the code though, it is right here on my GitHub. Feel free to clone or fork this repository. But the important thing is, whatever site you will be deploying needs to be on your GitHub. So the first step is to go to versal.com. And if you don't have an account, go ahead and register. If you do, you're going to be brought to the dashboard. Go ahead and click new project. And as you can see, I have a couple of Git repositories here, but the one I want, personal website Next.js Chakra, is not here. And that is because I have not given Vercel access to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for it. As you can see, it's not here. So I need to go ahead and configure GitHub. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And inside of here, what we can do is come down to repository access and I can hit select repositories and let's go ahead and search for that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and click that, hit save. Now when we come back here, we should be able to search for that. So here it is and simply click import. I'll continue on my personal account it automatically detects the framework, which is Next.js. You can rename the project if you'd like. I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna keep the build and output settings the same. And here is an important step. If you have any environment variables, you're going to want to input them here. So for example, if you had an API key for maybe YouTube, maybe your variable name is something like that, You'd enter that in and then you'd enter the value here and click add. Now this value needs to be the same as it is in your .env file so we can find it. So after you do that, click deploy. And that is it. We're just gonna wait for this to be deployed. It'll take a couple of minutes. And when it finishes, we should be able to see that on the domain that they give us. Okay, there we go. So we can see it was deployed successfully. Now we can go ahead and visit that site. There we go. Like I said, it gives us a domain name. So we have home, blog, and we can visit the test posts. So the exact same thing that you saw on our development server. And dark mode works as well. Now we can go ahead and open our dashboard. So here is where you will find all of the project settings. You'll find your deployment history, uh, analytics if you have that enabled, and all of your settings. So I just wanna quickly go through a couple of important things that you might need in your dashboard. First off, if you wanna connect a custom domain, you can do that here. Simply type in the domain name that you own, click add, and then you will have to go to that domain name and add the name servers. If you want to add any more environment variables, you can do that here. Simply select the type of environment variable you want to add. It will most likely be a secret, and then do the same thing that you did before. And then if you want to delete your project, you can do that in advanced, delete. And then the last thing I wanna go through is the deployments. So as you can see, there's one deployment here, and this deployment is from the main branch and you can see adding prism. So that is the last commit I have. If I go to commit history, it's right here. So whenever you want to make a new deployment to your app, simply commit that to the main branch and it will automatically fire up a deployment and it will deploy here. And then when that deployment is finished, that will become your new main deployment. And you can always revert back to old deployments too. For example, let's say I make a commit, I deploy it, I don't like it, I can go over here, 
and I can say promote to production and that will simply make this branch here the new production branch. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to deploy your Next.js application to Vercel.